Brachylumbar fractures and kyphosis, the main problem starts with the definition. There is a no uh, consistent definition for the post-traumatic kyphosis. As Professor Bejanol has shown us, there are lots of measurement types. Copangle, Gartner, vertebral compression, anterior vertebral uh, body compression percentage. But uh, they say that if you only calculate it with focally, you may make mistake. So they have divided this uh, post-traumatic kyphosis in two groups, type 1 and type 2. In type 1, the patient has a uh, balanced spine. There is a focal uh, imbalance kyphosis there. The second one is type 2. The patient has a global sagittal imbalance. So uh, these are the recommendations. We have talked about them. It's the same. Uh, the risk factors that causes uh, kyphosis are uh, short segment there, posterior only surgery, prior laminectomy, and another problem here is there is a, not a definite angle that says us you have to operate that patient. Like in Showerman kyphosis, if the patient's kyphosis is greater than 90 degrees, you have to operate it. In uh, other than some idiopathic scoliosis cases, if the degree is greater than 50, yes, you have to operate it. But in post-traumatic uh, kyphosis cases, there is no proper angle that you have to operate. Someone says that operate that patient if the angle is greater than 20. The other one says that operate that patient if it's greater than 40. Timing for surgery is a different topic. We have talked about indications, anterior, posterior, or combined surgery. We have talked about the length of the construct. This is the paper that I've talked about you. They have divided the uh, construct in seven groups, and they say that the fourth group is uh, very good to correct the deformity there. You put screws on the fractured area. They say that if you put two levels about your fractured vertebra and one below, it corrects better than the other ones here. And uh, the osteotomy is another uh, topic here. They have a guideline like this. It seems it's too complicated, but if you stay on the left side, if the patient is sagittal balanced and uh, if the patient has a smooth kyphosis, the ponte osteotomies will help you. If the patient has sagittal imbalance, you have to do pedicle subtraction osteotomies. And also, if your kyphosis is uh, sharp angular, you will need pedicle sub subtraction osteotomies. Commonly, they say that if you have a sharp angular uh, deformity at the thoracic spine, Ponte or Smith-Peterson osteotomies will be fine. But if you have a sharp angular kyphotic deformity at the lumbar area, you need pedicle subtraction osteotomy. These are my statements. First of all, which kind, what kind of uh, cases we have to operate? They say that if it's unstable and if it's cause uh, kyphotic deformity, you may operate it. The second one is yes, the indication yes. for surgery. Maybe we can combine them. The main problem in the post-traumatic kyphosis cases, there is no definite uh, guidelines here. Sorry? This is the... Untreated surgically. They say that if uh, your patient is is a stable burst fracture, okay, mm -hmm. you can do it, treat it with conservatively. But if you have an unstable 
birth fracture and if you remain it without any treatment, okay, it will progress in time to the kyphotic deformity. Can we, can we instead say that the most common reason of kyphotic deformity, post-traumatic kyphosis, is the unstable burst fractures? Maybe we Left have to, untreated. Uh, well untreated, maybe. Huh? Not Left treated untreated well. Surgically. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. Well, yeah. The, the most common reason of uh, kyphotic deformity is untreated burst fracture. Can we change it this way? Hello, Extra like that. <laughs> I was not aware that I have to die. This, the most common reason of unstable burst, no, no, reason of uh, post-traumatic kyphosis. Because our main aim post was to post define post-traumatic kyphosis. Is unstable. Anyway, the most common cause of post-traumatic kyphosis untreated is un UN. Trauma and unstable, unstable birth fractures. Okay. And take everything away. That's the best one. Yeah. There is no definite kyphosis angle to decide for surgery. I thought that in shower monkey kyphosis, there, they say that if the angle of the kyphosis is above 90 degrees, you have to operate that patient. In other adult idiopathic scoliosis, we have angles there that tells us you have to operate it. In post-traumatic kyphosis cases, someone says that uh, you have to operate it if it's greater than 20. Someone says that it's 30 or 40. There is no definite angle for that. If the patient is symptomatic, you have to operate it. Let's say then uh, for treatment of uh, post-traumatic kyphosis, at the beginning for, for treatment, for, for treatment. For, post, for the treatment of post-traumatic yeah, of post-traumatic kyphosis or treatment. treatment of yes. There is no def definite uh, yes. And we can also add the statement three here. Instead, global sagittal balance has to be taken into in, in consideration. Global sagittal balance. Instead. Instead, you add it's global. Okay. Continue with Continue statement two. Here. Go here. After part, instead. after instead. yes, start. Instead. 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 So comma. Yeah. This one, bring it here, yes. For the third one, to correct the spine, if the uh, deformity is flexible, and if you can, uh, if the patient can correct it while in the extension films, you don't need an osteotomy. But if the curve is uh, rigid, is not flexible, or if the curve is sharp, you will need osteotomies. Okay. No, no. Yeah, 
we we can just omit that good fusion uh, yes instead of in parentheses less blood loss and complications can achieve yes satisfactory psychosis correction with with less blood loss and complication okay I would consider not to place this statement. Spine osteotomy is a part of posture surgery. Okay. What else can you do? Whether you will make a perfectomy from posture or another osteotomy. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. So intermediate school strength into contract in certain school at the ratchet level for us, but you correct. But we have done it before. Yeah. I think yeah. we can also omit this, this okay. sentence. Just cancel. Sorry, Albert. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. I think I think we finished the, the session. Uh, huh? Is it case discussion? Okay. Who will discuss?